Hasbro finally revealed their Studio Series Devastator, and it was glorious. Let's get right to it. After skipping PulseCon and New York Comic Con, Hasbro finally showed off its Studio Series 86 Devastator at its 1027 event, and it was amazing. We're going to go over all the details right now, but first, let's talk about Studio Series 86 in general. Normally, it is a four-wave cycle, but everything is changing. Studio Series has been brought down to three waves, which means no repeats on figures coming in 2025. That means also, when you see a Devastator, Devastator figure on the shelves, you need to pick it up because you might not see it repeat for a couple of years. So let's get right into all those details right now. Another change Hasbro is making is a lot of fans out there were caught off guard with the two year release cycle on Menasaur and were not able to finish Menasaur properly. So Hasbro is changing that up, making a change for the better, and all of Devastator pieces will be released in 2025. So collectors know what they're getting into and are able to make sure they pick up all those pieces so you don't want to sleep on this one also a big change is coming as well the figures are going back to boxes with windows in them shown here they look much like the GI Joe classified boxes that we're used to now and where we have the single figure in a box it's pretty standard stuff so it's a big win for collectors no more missing heads or missing parts so jumping right into it we have two figures shown off today at the event which was a Voyager size scrap and a deluxe size bone crusher and you're like wow there are big different sizes well what's up with that well Hasbro's got a plan and we'll have go over a schedule here now in a second but basically uh, Voyager scrapper and deluxe uh, bone crusher are the first two figures in this six piece uh, combiner for anyone that has the previously uh, released combiner wars a uh, devastator you'll immediately know upgrades to all the figures they now have elbow joints with working arms and as well all the weapons are now included so scrapper actually includes devastators large gun which is actually is two pieces that comes apart and scrapper can hold or you can put them together and devastator can hold them as well bone crusher he is just a delight figure and he has his arm working arm joint in his back both figures have working uh, shovels in the front of their vehicles so they can do you know dioramas they look amazing these are cartoon accurate figures studio series 86 is a winner once again now while we discuss some more details we'll show you some video and some pictures of the new figures but what we're looking at here is scrapper and bone crusher they're going to release in april however they're going to go up for pre-order on october 28th 1 p.m for premium members at has repulse and 2 p.m at many fine retailers around the world wherever you get your toys after that we'll see long haul and hook come out in july as a single commander class release there'll be the two voyagers inside that box along with many additional pieces like their fists uh, there are connecting pieces there are chess piece and some extras that will make the total package worth that commander class price also after that in September we'll see a Voyager mix master and a, a deluxe scavenger release then so basically you need to get all these figures to make that combiner that ultimate version of devastator for studio series 86 so we'll see further pre-order dates uh, happen uh, further along in the year but for now the key one is 1028 which is Monday October 28th at 1 p.m. for premium like I mentioned earlier and for regular users uh, 2 p.m. we'll see other ones released throughout the year now the big thing when it comes to this release is size comparison and right away in the videos and the pictures you'll notice that scavenger and bone crusher perfectly match with Optimus Prime and say Menasaur. And the biggest question was that's on everyone's mind is how does Devastator scale with the rest of the figures? And the Hasbro team over there, they busted a, a gray scale, a Devastator out to show him off and he is perfection and really well done. And like Devastator is a little bit bigger than Menasaur and he's a little beefier because uh, Devastator was always a little bit chunkier and Menasaur was always kind of a little thinner and it is perfection. This figure is totally amazing and you know what? It's gonna hopefully be a lot easier to get than the Menasaur pieces because if you're on your toes, you can get those pre-orders in as you need it and I'd highly recommend just pre-order for something. You're gonna have Amazon, GameStop, Big Bad Toy 
toy store a lot of these places we're gonna have pre-orders open and just make sure you get a pre-order open if you're interested in getting devastator what i always recommend pre-order now and as well just cancel later if you're not interested but once those pre-orders are gone it's going to be hard to get at retail for sure so make sure you do a pre-order it seems like the hasbro team has lots in store for us in 2025 and you know what while we're waiting why not check out these other videos over here like this one where we talk about what should change in gi joe classified coming in 2025 and might as well hit the like button and hit the subscribe button and thanks for checking us out